Hello there, it is Kat, and today I have a different video. I mostly do tutorials because I don't have that much makeup compared to like bigger YouTubers who get sent stuff. I don't get sent stuff, so I don't have new stuff coming in all the time. But I did just receive some pixie stuff because I won an Instagram giveaway. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna try and use a little bit of everything. I have the it's Lip Time palette, which was in collaboration with It's Judy Time. So I'll use some of these lip colors. And then I have the Pixie and I think it's Miriam Maquillage, the Glow Stroben Bronze Glow and Bronze palette. That's what this one looks like. Um, and then I also got a, I think these things were in a trio, the Beauty Blush Duo in Rose Gold, and then this is the Lip Gloss in Sheer Rose, and then this is the Pink Pearl Liquid Face Illuminator. It says Glow Booster on it. So I'm going to use this first. I just have foundation on, and just in case you're curious about what it is, it's the Revlon Color Stay Combo and Oily one, the liquid foundation, and this shade is 180. So to start off, I'm just going to take a little bit of this liquid glow stuff. And I'm gonna squeeze some on my hand just to take a look at it. It's very pink, but it doesn't look that shimmery to me. So I'm just gonna dot some on and see how it kind of mixes and sits with stuff. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush because it's synthetic and it's clean. I'm gonna try and blend this out. Kind of feel like it took off my foundation. So this is the e.l.f. HD blush, and this one is Superstar. So I'm gonna take a couple pumps of that on the back of my hand, and then, oh, now it's looking shimmery. You can kind of see underneath the blush. Okay, and I'm just gonna take some of that. That's probably way too much. I don't really know what I'm doing. Never used this, and I'm actually gonna pull out my e.l.f. small stipple brush because I feel like I'll have better luck with that. So I'm mixing these together just to get a glowy blush. Oh, that's a lot of product! Oh my gosh, my entire hand is covered in it. I definitely got way too much of everything. That's my bad. Okay, okay, this is all gonna be fine. <laughs> Now we know what not to do. Okay. So now I just got like a tiny dot of it on my hand. I'm gonna try and wipe off my brush a little bit more. Looks okay. I still kind of feel like I've taken off some of my foundation, which isn't my favorite thing in the world, but I'm gonna go do my concealer and powder and maybe my eye makeup, and I'll be right back. And if you're wondering about my eye makeup, just so you know, it's the uh, Heavy Hitter Quad from ColourPop, and it's like their sand collection. You know how they've been doing like the monochromatic collections or whatever, that's from the sand one is actually part of a ColourPop video I'm doing, so that'll probably be my next upload. But anyway, on to more pixie stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with this blush duo because the uh, the face palette doesn't really have like a blush in it, so I'm gonna take this little guy. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques uh, tapered brush blush, this is the 300 from the Bold Metals collection, and I'm just gonna pick up the blush side just kind of like a pinky berry, very shimmery. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Okay, right here. It's kind of almost like a mauve -y. It's right there. mauve pink. I don't know, I've been really into peaches with my blush, so this is interesting also to see it aside this eye look. I'm not gonna use the highlight in this, but I will swatch it. Okay, so you can see it right 
Mm, it's this one. So it's very, it's actually like a really like light gold. I think I'm gonna bronze, ooh. I'm gonna try this Beige Cosmetics brush from their Rose Quartz brush set. And I'm gonna use, oh, they have names, okay. This is confusing me. <laughs> well, right. Okay, this one is City City Kitty, I believe. This bronzer right here. And I'm just gonna pick oh ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna pick some of that up. You can see where I first put my brush, it's very pigmented. I'm just gonna take an angled brush and try and use this a little bit. Just a little here, a little there. And then I'm gonna use this one to contour, and let's see, this one is called Statuesque, I believe. Ooh. I think I'm actually gonna try and contour my nose with this. Huh. It's not bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and bake that a little bit. The highlighters. There they are. The most gold one is called Lex. This more peachy gold one is Highline, and then this more pink one is Empress. So I'm gonna take my Beach Cosmetics number 11 brush, and I'm gonna pick up, I think I'm gonna use the peachy one called Highline. Actually, just for fun, I'm gonna pick up Empress, which is the most cool toned one, or the only really cool toned one. Pop some of that on. I know they have some individual highlights right now that are pretty popular, so I'm wondering if these are the same formula or maybe even some of the same shades. I don't think they're the same shades. but that definitely worked. And then also I'll swatch this one, which is 917. And that's the bronze, the bronze one. So now I'm gonna take my, my Pixie and it's Judy time. It's Lip Time palette, and these all have names too. She actually has a video on her channel where she goes through all of them and swatches them. So now it's just a matter of picking which one I want to wear. I'm thinking maybe this one? Is that Maya Bear? Yes, Maya Bear. Okay, all of my lip brushes have my shadow on them. I usually don't use lip palettes on myself. Did I mention I've never used anything from Pixie? Because <laughs> I haven't. Oh, it's kind of warm. Maybe I'll actually use the one below it. Chewy? This one? I'm actually gonna start out just with my finger and try and put this on. I think I'm actually gonna take some of Juliana Bear, which is this one, on another finger, and put some of that one on. And then I'll go in with my brush and Chewy and a mirror. I'm gonna top it off with a gloss, so I've used everything. Once again, Sheer Rose is what this says on it. It smells like those Buxom lip glosses. That's that, I feel pretty. I normally don't do lip gloss, I normally don't do lips like this, so that is fun, so I'm going to my nose big and then I'm gonna take I'm just gonna use my pinky finger and a mixture of Empress and Highline Highline I'm gonna do my brows and lashes and I'll be right back so you can take a look at the look with lashes and brows okay here's everything together I I'm happy
happy with basically everything. The only thing I still need to work out is the liquid illuminator, but I think I just don't know exactly how to use it yet. Um, <laughs> so I think it'd be really good for a no foundation day maybe, or mixing in with a foundation, because it seemed to kind of pick up my foundation, but trial and error. You but other than that, everything went really well, I think. I feel like this lip gloss is probably gonna become one of my favorite lip glosses because I feel like it'll go well on top of like more cool tone mauves also that I really like. And then I feel like the face palette is gonna become a favorite for me. And I liked these shades. I thought maybe this would be a little too warm to use as a contour on my nose, but surprisingly it, you know, it worked. It's way more cool toned than kind of think, I guess maybe it's just because seeing it like next to the golds and the other bronzer, I don't know, but loving this. And then the It's Judy Time palette, uh, I'll just have to use it more. Um, I would maybe take this with me if I was going on like a month long trip and didn't want to bring like 20 lipsticks, which I can do sometimes. I can just like grab a bunch of lipsticks and be like, I'm only going to be gone two days, why do I need seven lipsticks? So I do like the little blush duo. It's not really a shade that I've been wearing too much lately, but I do like it a lot. It's pretty. So this is maybe my first first impressions video? Hmm, maybe. I don't know. I hope you liked it. Um, let me know what you think about the products. Let me know if you've used any of this or if you're planning on it, what you think of Pixie as a brand, if I should invest in buying some of it because it's kind of like more expensive for like being sold at Target. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.